Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Proverbs with Paul in the afternoon. This uh, rather interesting day we've had regarding weather. I felt the cold. Proverbs chapter 4, and today we're looking at verse 6. Do not forsake her, and she will guard you. Love her, and she will watch over you. So again, Solomon refers to wisdom as a she, as a her. And you can sense the intimacy of the relationship that Solomon has with wisdom. This same wisdom that came from his father, David. This wisdom that has become part of his identity. He's learned as a man to be intimate with the wisdom that has supported him and strengthened him during the context of his life. And what we have to remember is that Solomon was married or, as it were, engaged with 600 women plus. And that sense of being involved with that many women, you wonder, did he really have that wisdom? And yet there's a sense in which the reality of his intimacy with wisdom in this verse conveys to us Yes, Solomon had wisdom. He managed to sustain something in the context of his identity with wisdom. Do you see wisdom as a friend? I've coined the phrase frenemies are all those enemies that have associated themselves to our lives that do our lives no good. Things like fear, hatred, lust, anxiety. Those Dreadful thoughts of the night, those intimidating emotions, they're frenemies. Friends? No. Enemies that have masqueraded themselves as friends. But it's not so with wisdom. Solomon is revealing to us that if we keep this precious thing, wisdom, close to us, then she will um, guard you. He says, do not forsake her. That means let her go, disregard her, but guard her close to you and she will guard you. She will protect you in every possible way. She will be the solution to every problem. She will manifest herself in the darkest moment. Yeah, he says, let this precious jewel, this she's beautiful, let her remain with you and she will guard you. She will keep you safe. Love her. And she will watch over you. Love her. Love the reality of the wisdom that oozes out of heaven, that pours itself on you in precious ways. Oh, brothers and sisters, she is beautiful. Wisdom is beautiful. It's an adornment of heaven and it will remain for eternity. And God has given us access to this incredible wisdom to solve every problem that we ever might face in life, no matter how dark life gets. Oh, this precious word of God, it's got me excited. And I hope it's getting you excited too, that you will be passionate with God's word because it will fill you with incredible strength to every weapon, uh, to every giant, you will have a weapon that will be formed to destroy it. Have a great afternoon. Thank you for joining me and bless you. And I'll see you tomorrow.